My name is Mike Wallace. Um, I work for the Queensland Police Service, uh, producing training videos uh, and other similar media and multimedia products. Uh, my name is Chris Lawrence, and uh, I work at the Police Academy at Oxley in our uh, multimedia area. We were looking for um, a course to kind of uh, to bring our our skills up to date. We were looking around for a suitable course and um, I think we probably found it online and it looked like a great idea and it worked perfectly. Uh, great um, hours in the evening for me so um, I was able to work around that plus balance my other life commitments so yeah it was a, seemed a perfect fit. I think the vibe overall is pretty good actually. Um, I think that um, the instructors or and facilitators obviously are all working in the industry and I think that comes across not only during the classes but just in the school. Um, you know, when you're walking around listening to what's going on in, in other areas and listening to students talking amongst themselves about things that they've learnt and picked up. Um, yeah, to me the, the vibe in the school is about almost as, as if, you know, you're out in the field working rather than at a school. I think um, there's definitely a real, a kind of a, a club family type vibe, you know, you, it's a very relaxed uh, place, everybody's uh, you, you, it's friendly, it's good to see them and there's this big feeling of flexibility as, you know, I, I popped in here an hour, an hour and a half before the, my course started to, to get ahead on my editing, to get ahead on assignment work and it's no problem, they'll always accommodate us if our room's not free then uh, they'll find somewhere else for us. It's um, you know, everyone on a first name basis, you know, the, the guys, that, the big guys that run the place here, they'll drop in and talk to you all the time. It has a real good, friendly family feeling. Probably the cinematography, yeah, learning. Um, we've always had uh, camcorders at work. Um, I have my own DSLR, but mm, have used it um, a little bit for video but never to the extent of what we've learned here. Um, Post-production always, yeah, I love the post. I mean, obviously, you know, I enjoy when we're out uh, shooting, I enjoy taking a bit of a director role and just keeping things moving and making sure we've got what we need um, in, terms of, in terms of the footage we shoot. But my biggest passion is obviously post-production and the stuff I've learned here and especially the stuff I've learned here is again, a better pace to your post and you know and also being more ruthless you know we have a great tendency to leave in big chunks of information that you don't really need to do there and it slows down the feel the feel of the program you're making so um yeah what i've really got out of this is hey if, if it doesn't need to be there get rid of it and um and get a nice pace that's appropriate to the the sort of mood of the program you're trying to make it's inspired me and i think i've even you know said that to you you've inspired me along the way to 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 do different things like to to not only take my work further the experience here has been has been really good it's been interesting um i would find it really hard to uh, to do study on top of a, a full-time job and other commitments that i have unless i really enjoyed it so uh, it's been really enjoyable the stuff we've been doing it's been um so varied, it's great, you know, we'd be in the classroom discussing theory and one day, the next day, we'd be planning a shoot, then we'd be going and doing a studio shoot, we'd be editing, we'd be doing location recs and stuff, it's it just so um, varied and, and interesting, so it's, it's, you know, it's kept it really interesting for the, for the, the 10 weeks has flown by, um, and there's been so much to learn and, and digest in that time, so and, uh, yeah, it's been a really good experience.